Hello students. Today we are going to read the first chapter of English literature, The Emergence of a Jew by Israel Durrell. Let us know about the author. Gerald Malcolm Durrell was born in India on 7th January in 1925. He was one of Britain's best love authors and pioneering naturalists. He was a Jew keeper, a conservationist and a TV presenter. Some of his best known works are My Family and Other Animals, The Ark's Anniversary, A Zoo in My Luggage, etc. He died on 30th January in 1995. About the story, The Emergence of a Jew is an excerpt from the book, The Ark's Anniversary. This book was published shortly after the Jersey Wildlife Preservation Trust celebrated its 25th anniversary. In this excerpt, the narrator is Gerald Durrell himself, where he talks about some funny incidences from the early days of the Jew and why he want his own Jew. Now let's read the story. At the age of 21, I inherited 3,000 pounds, a princely sum but not sufficient to start a Jew. Means he was willing to set up a Jew but the money he was possessing that was not sufficient. So he started working as a animal collector but that was also not supporting him. Then his brother suggested him to write his experiences and publish them and he obeyed him and he, in this he was successful. He became a very famous author and he earned sufficient money. So on 14 March 1959 the Jersey Geological Park came into being. The animals were kept at the back garden of his sister and when he shifted them to the Jew, the neighbors heaved a collective sigh of relief. Then he narrated how two chimpanzees, half-grown chimpanzees, they escaped from the cage and reached his mother's house and how she handled the situation. The author doesn't consider the bizarre happenings to be an interruption because such weird incidences have become part of his life as he has been working as a caretaker and the owner of a zoo. Here the narrator narrates the incident that occurred when John Hartley went to clean the cage of the python alone which was a work of three men. The python had thrown its coils around him and bound him as immobile. When the author reached there and tried to unwind the python, it had thrown its coils around him also. It was their good luck that a member of, our, of the mammal staff heard them and rescued them. Gerald was the owner and the Jew kept keeper of his Jew. For him the bizarre happenings was a part of his everyday life but whenever he used to have visitors in his Jew instead of thinking the animals behavior weird they the visitors used to get amazed and impressed seeing the friendly relationship between the wild animals and the human being. Lastly, the author says, I ask why he wants to set up a Jew. Because when people ask him, he used to answer that 80% of the population of the animals in Jew are the animals which are on the verge of their extinction. Their existence is threatened primarily by the man's activity. He would say that to save them from getting extinct by providing them with a sanctuary is the only reason for setting up a Jew. Thank you boys and girls. Read the story between the lines and we will meet in our next presentation.